Today's artist of the day, Garrett Wheeler. Hello everybody, welcome back to another artist of the day, uh, to another video. Um, I missed a couple days again, sorry, consistency is lacking. But we're here, we're here, and we're finally going to finish up the all-star list that Mason Ember sent me. If I look at, if I remember correctly, the all-star list consisted of Caroline Riley, Aaron Kirby, Sidney Rose, Woody Earwood, um, um, there's one more. Ethan Senger, of course, how could I forget him? And the final person on the list is none other than the boy, Garrett Wheeler. Uh, now, he again, he's been on the list for a long time. I've been severely slacking, but now is the time for me to finish that list. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, it is your time to be reviewed. Before we get into all that, make sure everybody, please go share these videos to people. Like, comment, and subscribe, you know. You know, uh, comment what your uh, what your favorite music genre is. I want to want to see what the people listen to. Be sure to go check out if you want to listen to any of the songs that uh, I review in their entirety without me acting like a moron over them. The links to the artist and his socials will be uh, in the description below. Also, check out my music, uh, my debut single that came out just over a week ago, "Ain't No Grave." Uh, please check that out, and also check out my music group, The Balanced Ones. But today's ours is obviously Garrett Wheeler, the final of the six all-stars that I reviewed. Um, I'm going to read the description that left uh, in his Spotify profile. It's kind of long, so we're gonna we're just going to definitely read it. All right. <clears throat> Stuck somewhere between alt-country, punk, and Americana, Garrett Wheeler's music has something for just about everyone. Since becoming musically active and, and gigging heavily at age 15, Garrett has played countless shows across Georgia, Florida, and the Southeast, playing anywhere from acclaimed music venues and listening rooms to dive bars where you're afraid to touch the door handles. <laughs> That's... I respect the hustle. Garrett's newest release, Nobody Singing Along, released in October of 2021. The four-song EP showcased Garrett's evolution, manifesting into a sound that, will not, while not dated, still wouldn't sound out of place on a 90s college radio station uh, with an affinity for Uncle Tupelo, Whiskey Town, and the old 97s. I didn't feel like I was doing anything too wrong before, but with the new EP, it definitely feels like things are going right, is a quote from Garrett. Nobody Sing Along was recorded in the early months of 2021 in Cartersville, Georgia, with Daniel leaving, l leaving, leaving, sorry for butchering the name, as head engineer. The EP features lead guitar works from Shane Broker of American Aquarium on multiple tracks, as well as a pedal steel from Austin Harper of Hunter Black and the Sad Machine. Again, sorry for butchering names. Uh, Garrett Wheeler's songwriting breathes new life into outlaw country without taking away the bassy vocals and the astute lyricism that makes the genre so influential on American country music, said Kelly Boston, creator of the off -tale original video series. Okay, so you can do this for a minute. He's a local artist. Shout out all my Georgia people. You know, put in the comments, what, what part of Georgia are you from? So anyone who's new here, here's, here's how we uh, run things, uh, even though majority of, you, majority of my viewers have come from this series. Uh, hello. We listen to each song in their top five, uh, talk about each song, and then we will rate them as an artist as a whole after at the end. Like I said, if you want to listen to the full songs in their entirety without me talking, the links to his stuff as well as the socials will be um, in the description below. Go give him a look. Go give him a follow. Go support him. Now, country music isn't really my style, per se. There's a couple of good country songs. I'm not opposed to listening to country. It's just not my style. But then again, I also listen to a punk rock band on here. And... I didn't like punk rock. Shout out to Starbenders, man. And, you know, Susie Moon and all of them. They're great. So, first track is Better Me and You. Uh, also, by the way, if you guys want me to review the e the album uh, or the or his EP, uh, let me know. And I will do that on my uh, Underground Album series. So, that being said, first track, Better Me and You. Oh, I'm here for this. No, wait, this is my one. This is my one. This is my one. They don't know where they want to go. I feel that. I'm trying to be better. And I try to make amends. Okay. Times in my life where I could have been a better friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just for a minute or two. Yeah. Oh, my. That guitar is talking. What? This belongs in a movie. I like this. Oh man. Oh man, I like that one. That's going on the playlist. Not a bad first start. 
Um, I like the smoothness and of his voice. Um, I like the topic he's talking about, essentially being becoming a better person um, after realizing all the shit that they've done in the past and moving to be a better person. And a better him creates a better relationship from the said person, let it be romantic or just in general. And just basically making amends and apologizing for those things that didn't make him as good as he was in his past. And being try basically the progression of trying to be a better person. Production-wise, it's very smooth. It's mixed well. Um, the guitars really, really, really are like the foundation of it. And it's simple, but it works really well. The the extra guitar in the back where it has the solos really, really takes takes the show for me. It really um, brings it to a whole nother life, a whole, a whole nother level uh, in terms of musically. And he kind of has this somber tone in his voice and he sells it home. He sells it again with the the production kind of matches his energy in terms of that kind of melancholy feel in his voice. Not a bad start at all. Not a bad start. Um, the next song we'll listen to is Alone Out Here. Oh my God. No, no, you see the way he just came in. Oh my god, I'm not about to have me in a Dragon Ball Z episode. That's what y'all not about to do. Y'all not about to make an anime OST, bro. What? Oh man, I'm cruising down the street on my lawn. <laughs> you know what? I'm low key waiting for. I'm waiting for them to put one of these in there. They put a harmonica in there, they're spazzing. I will walk off the fucking screen. Oh man. Oh my god! Alright, not bad song either. It kind of like a blend of a country rock song. Um really shining through with much uh with a lot grand a lot more grand, that's not grammatically correct. A bigger sound, bigger production, uh, bigger, grander uh, build up and climactic sound uh, when he, uh, in the production. Vocally, again, he's mixed well. Um, in terms of unique sound, I'm not really hearing anything that would make him sound different from any other country singer, but he still sounds really good. Again, kind of talking about, you know, the, the, a lot of these songs will sound really good on the road trip. Like, like, like the topics he's discussing, while they're somber, the um, the production kind of has this like uplifting, like building up uh, type of feeling versus his like very somber lyrics. But it doesn't feel like they're like they're so contrasting that they're not blending together really well. Um, just overall, it's a very calm yet um, really, it's a very like chaotic instrumental in terms of like how much is going on. But with the smoothness and the simpleness of his voice, they blend together actually really well. Yeah, the song, another song, not bad, not bad at all. Next song on here is called This Time. Bro, this stuff belongs on Life is Strange, man. Y'all need to stop playing. Oh my God! Oh yeah! Dude, that guitar is wild. Bro, all he needs is this. All he needs is this. I like the atmosphere that he created. It's nice. Okay, the bass. Okay, talk to me nice. <laughs> That's he is what? Oh my god. What is he on? This is fucking no. Dog. I was about to say, I was like, there's no way there's about to be a whole, like, 55 second outro. But that gets, what? Not a bad song at all. I guess that the instrumental, I mean, the instrumental is the, my favorite part. Um, I don't know how I feel about him and his, like, yelling kind of inflections. It doesn't sound as smooth or as, uh, as, um, as comfortable as his like regular just slower inflection it doesn't sound horrible it just to me it doesn't really sound as like full and comfortable the the chugging guitars and the transition and then just that solo towards the end is fucking insane kind of has this like motivating feel of it of like 
in terms of this song just feels like what it feels it feels like the word redemption kind of like basically that you falling down but getting back up and this time i would do things right is what that song felt like another very solid song are that one uh, it, yeah yeah i'll say it. it's going on the playlist next song is actually one of his um more like popular ones that I actually could see like over just over a thousand streams lily oh wait wait this might this might this might kill someone it's named lily it starts off with that symbol it's a love song it's got to be about a song about love like and happy or it's gonna be something about how you lost a chick or something about the flower lily and that symbolizing something Oh my god. I wish I could sing you so. Oh man. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I wish that she would sing along. Oh man. Pass since I left that night and I let you slip away. Who is that in the back? Lily, who? I was waiting for him to wish you would sing along, but no, nah, he ended it like that. I like that. Biggest issue I have with this is that, like, in terms of his vocal lines, when he's harmonizing with whoever the girl is in the back, um, he's fine, but he sounds a bit goofy uh, for the majority of the time. Like, he's in terms of like, he sounds like he can't settle into a pitch. Like, his voice is waving between just the uh, in between area where he's trying to go high but trying to go low, trying to stay steady. And it just seems very like a touch off key to me, and that's but it isn't horrible, so it doesn't ruin the song for me. But I did notice that for a majority of that song. But when he's harmonizing, he sounds fine, and when he's especially on the chorus, it was like whoa, Lily. he sounds fine. Production's good, instrumental. I like how he pulled the instrumental back and made it very simple. Um, like I said, I was right. It was a song, like a heartbreak song about um, losing someone, letting the one that got away essentially. I'm crunched on time, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hurry up to the the next song. I like that song. Final song listened to is called Birmingham. Uh, I just walked into a dive bar. I just walked into a saloon. I'm in the wild wild west, bro. It's time for a shootout. What? Oh man, this is bumping. Wow! Hey, hey, I don't give a damn. Hey, hey, I don't give a damn. That guitar is touching my soul. I don't give a damn. Yeah! Birmingham, baby. That song is amazing. That was an amazing song. That's going on the playlist. That is an amazing song. That was just pure energy and just being free and being like, tomorrow is going to be a hell to pay for the choices I'm about to make with you and right now, but I don't give a shit because I'm in the moment. I'll let that, I'll deal with that when we get there. That was just freedom. That was fun. It was energy. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. That was like my favorite out of all of them, I'll say. Okay, that was Garrett Wheeler. Now, uh, he did not disappoint. Uh, Mason sent me another certified banger overall production is solid through all these the instrumentation is fantastic the guitars really are really what sell me in a lot of these songs especially that last one especially one of the songs that i had on the playlist i can't remember off the top of my head but that one with the really good guitar solo um even though all of them have that in a way but the really long one that i freaked out earlier i can't remember the top of my head but that one really sold the song for me um voice inflections overall the lower he is the more comfortable i've seen um when he goes higher is where it gets kind of iffy but when he but in that song in birmingham he sounded fine none of it sounds off offensive to where it ruins the song um he said this is really his sound he's really he's really settled into this pocket well the lyrics and the topics he talks about are very mature and are portrayed very well in terms of anything i would say just really more of like getting comfortable with that higher range and really more just of 
And this could be a dated thing, so he could got it. But based off the tracks I'm hearing, that's what I hear. In terms of original sound, I don't I don't see really anything that would make him stand out of being like, oh, that's a Garrett Wheeler song. Uh, but other than that, it, this is very enjoyable. Like I said, I don't listen to country that much, but these are some very good songs. Again, if you want to listen to the full thing in their entirety, go check them out. Description to all his links to all the stuff will be in the description below. If I were to give this a rating, uh, I would give him a decent to strong six out of ten. I really did enjoy what I heard today, Mr. Mr. Wheeler, Mr. Mr. Garrett. If you see this video, you have any questions, comments, you know, message me or leave a comment in below. Uh, preferably message me because that's the easiest way to get to me. My Instagram will be in the links below, down below for anybody who else who wants me to review another artist of theirs that they, if they want their music reviewed or a artists, um, they want me to check out. Comment them down below. Leave a like. You know, share, please. That being said, today's artist of the day was Garrett Wheeler. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye bye.